Welcome back. Today we are celebrating the return of the Mandalorian with a Baby Yoda slash Grogu inspired mocktail. I call it the Baby Alien because that's what my little niece likes to call him. He's adorable, he's fun, and he's back. So let's make a drink to celebrate. So the key to this drink is the garnish. The drink itself, super simple, probably something you've already had at a grade school function but it's the garnish that makes it special. So we need to make a baby alien, baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you want to call it. I go with baby alien because that's what my little niece likes to call it. So we're not actually juicing this. I don't know why I rolled it. Cut it in half. Now we're gonna cut two wedges to function as our little ears. Yeah, like that. To go with the ears, we need a pair of eyes because those big, inky black eyes are so characteristic of the, you know, little guy. So I have these nice black grapes. You could use blueberries, but I think these are a little bit bigger, a little bit inkier. Now we put an ear on our skewer. One eye. And it's important you do this in the right order, otherwise it's gonna look really weird. Another eye. Now we put on the second ear. And this one is a little hard to get through the rind. Be careful. Maybe don't let the little one do this. Ow, see? But now that I'm stabbed, it goes in nice and easy. So there you go. Here we have our little alien face. Hey, put that down. And now let's make the drink itself. Martini glass. Lime sherbet. Nice big scoop. I'm actually going to put two in. This is a little bit hard, so I'm not getting really good round scoops, but if you thaw that out a little bit before you do this, it'll come out better. But really, if it looks messy, that's not the end of the world. Now we top it off with a bit of clear lemon lime soda. This is Sprite. You can use Starry. You can use Sierra Mist if you've still got some lying around. Whatever works. A little bit more. And you saw it coming. Here's our garnish. Up and over. And I just want to kind of position things so that the nice flat edges of the limes are what are in contact. And I want to put my little pin part down. So I'm going to adjust this and stab this in just a little bit. And there we go. One baby alien. And we'll cut to an overhead shot here uh, so you can see it, because that's when it looks best, but it's lovely. Citrusy, sweet, a little bit frothy. It's your classic, you know, sherbet punch, just dressed up and a little bit Disney, a little bit Star Wars. It's delicious, it's fun, and I think you can do it in even less time than it took me to talk about doing it. So I highly recommend this if you have any little fans in your house, or any big fans. There's nothing wrong with a nice sweet treat like this. As always, thank you for joining me, and if you make this, I'd love to hear about it in the contents. If you have comments, not contents. And uh, by the way, if you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you could give us a like and a subscribe. Well, give us a like if you're subscribed anyway, but if you... Uh, could subscribe if you're not, that would really help the channel. Uh, we're trying to make this get to as many people as we can, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it, but I need the feedback to keep me going. So, Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.